This surveillance video shows the moments just after police said a man attacked a woman with a chainsaw. That woman's family spoke only to News Channel 5's Alyssa Hyman today. She joins us live now from the Super 8 Motel in Lantana where the attack happened. Alyssa? Well, today I spoke exclusively with Marie Gaffard's family. They tell me they hope to find a way to put a stop to random violence like this. Meanwhile, I also discovered the suspect in this case may have had a history of mental illness. Marvin Dozier showed me the gruesome pictures of his mother-in-law's partially severed hand. People like that should not be roaming the streets. It's just one of Marie Gaffard's many injuries after she survived an attack by a man with a chainsaw Tuesday morning. That is a great woman, an awesome woman, and this thing, this type of violence should not happen to anyone. Her family now focusing on her long road to recovery and change. To make sure that this type of crime does not happen again and people like that are not roaming our streets attacking innocent elderly women. 911, what's the location of your emergency? For the Super 8 Motel, you have a male chasing a female with a chainsaw. 20 year old Juan Carlos Cabrera is the confessed attacker. A tree trimmer by trade admitted to police that he has a history of mental illness. He's been Baker acted or involuntarily committed to a mental health evaluation at least once and claims on the morning of the attack he had a mental breakdown. We have no idea what happened. We're, we don't even know if it's my brother. I don't even know. When I spoke to Cabrera's sister yesterday, I asked her whether her brother struggled with mental illness. Were there any signs that he was maybe having some mental health issues? I cannot respond to any information right now. I'm sorry. It's just very, we were, we were very hurt, so I'm sorry. This is enough. And police say the only reason Cabrera did not kill his intended victim is that the chainsaw jammed during the attack. Now, Cabrera also faces charges for drugs as they were found inside his motel room here at the Super 8 Motel. He is also facing charges for an attack for attacking a police officer at the Lantana Police Department. Reporting live in Lantana, Alyssa Hyman, WPTV News Channel 5.